Attention, ladies and gentlemen, Hell's Gate is coming very, very soon. I know it was supposed to be delivered to you on the 29th of February. However, my son was born, and I did state in that one video that if Josiah was born, the show would be delayed a little bit longer. So bear with me. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna be epic, gonna be great. But uh, let's get on with today's video, shall we? What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, I have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and today it is Elimination Chamber Edition. So in today's video, guys, we do have a new WWE action figure set up for you guys. Elimination Chamber Edition. The pay-per-view is actually coming up this Sunday, which actually it, it, it snuck up on us, Brad. I mean, with the focus on Super Showdown, WWE, I feel like, sort of just let this thing come up on them so quickly that they really didn't book it very strongly. They didn't really consider things, and I think that's why they kind of rushed into this tag team Elimination Chamber. The women's Elimination Chamber was a little bit more flushed out, even though that match is pretty damn predictable, and we all know what the hell's going to take place. I love the Elimination Chamber, and I'm actually pretty excited for the tag team version. Not the women so much, just because I think I know what's going to happen. But it is WrestleMania season, and I'm trying to stay optimistic. But I got the setup for you guys. Not only do we have the backstage setup, which we always have, I filled up the arena because it was Elimination Chamber edition, and I wanted to set that thing up for you guys so you guys could see some stuff in there before we get to Hell's Gate, which is obviously coming very soon. So that'll add to the excitement for that show as well. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't plan on Hell's Gate being around the time of Elimination Chamber. I wanted it to be way before it but you know what brad you gotta just deal with what you got sometimes so let's go ahead and dive into this elimination chamber setup and get ready for this show coming this weekend so what we're gonna do first guys is cover the backstage area and then we're gonna make our way to the arena to check out the elimination chamber so starting off in the corner guys we do have Shayna baszler choking out becky lynch ruby riot and natalia have already suffered a fate and then you do have oscar right here i, I love oscar you know I, I would like her to win the chamber not gonna happen but i would love to see her get a good performance and i'm a big Oscar fan, so I didn't want to see her get choked out here in the setup. So I just have her got, you know, maybe a kick to the midsection, and she kind of, you know, was discombobulated for a, for a moment there. But here we have Baszler all over Becky Lynch, so I think this will take place at the chamber, guys. I think Shayna Baszler is easily going to win that thing, choke out everybody. I can see her eliminating everyone in the match, go after Becky, and then claim the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania. So that is what I am guessing is going to happen. That would be absolutely dope. I think that would be really sick. Fantasy booking it, you know, I'd have Ronda Rousey come out there and end up having a triple threat. I don't know, just trying to spitball there. But Ruby Riot and Natalya got laid out. I don't think I have the Liv Morgan figure just yet. I don't have the Sarah Logan, so I figured this would work for now. And I have the champ getting choked out in the backstage area. If we come to the left, guys, you will see the new Blue Universal Champion. We have Goldberg right here with his Blue Universal Championship walking around because he does not have a match at Elimination Chamber. He is obviously going to be wrestling Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, so I just have big old Goldberg right here walking around in the backstage just chilling you know resting up don't even know why he's in wrestling gear because he ain't wrestling tonight brad he's just going to take a night off rest up get ready for the big event and that is uh, i just wanted to put him in the setup here with that blue universal championship get some usage out of it while he's still champion before the big dog takes it off him we come to the left again guys we do have the raw tag team champion psych they lost their raw tag team championships on monday night raw we got buddy murphy and seth rollins chilling and then my boy kevin owens right here about to go attack him because he's ruthless he's fearless about to go take out Buddy and Seth. He doesn't give a damn. You know, he's about to go hit him. Uh, AOP going to show up very soon, I'm sure. I think Samoa Joe is actually suspended for 30 days, so he doesn't have any help there. Viking Raiders, nowhere to be found. Mattel hasn't made figures of them, so it looks like he's going to be riding this one alone, Brad. But they do take on the Street Profits at Elimination Chamber in a rematch, so uh, we don't have their basic figures just yet, so I just have them talking right here, talking about how they can get those tag titles back, but I, I wanted to use my man Kevin Owens right here, so I have him attacking them. We're probably going to get a one-on-one -on -one match here unless the Raw Tag Team Championship match ends up involving them, which could be possible. We just don't know just yet heading into WrestleMania. Coming to the left, guys, we have Ricochet, and Ricochet is down on himself. You know, it's kind of hard to pose. This is supposed to be a little bit more lean forward like that, but, you know, he kind of fell, which is unfortunate. You know what? F it. You guys get the idea there. Ricochet is down on himself. You know, he had the number one contendership with Brock Lesnar. He ended up getting defeated in like five seconds. What in five seconds? It was, it was a little longer, maybe like two minutes, maybe. So he gets destroyed at Super Showdown, and then on Monday Night Raw, he loses to Riddick Moss in a 24-7 championship match, and so he's feeling down on himself. I'm really hoping that this 
portion of his story is supposed to lead to something greater and bigger because right now it just seems like he's sort of like a jobber level when he is way too talented and he's way too athletic and, and it's such a, he has such a superstar quality to him. Even though he's not the best promo, I think it's very unfortunate the situation that Ricochet finds himself in. So hopefully we get a good story out of that. And I don't think he'd be a good heel, so I think he needs to stay as a babyface and hopefully that's where they keep him at. But right now he's down in the dumps. If we come back across the setup, guys, we are going to get into this right here. We have AJ Styles getting black mass in the cheekbone by Aleister Black. They obviously have a matchup at Elimination Chamber, and I'm expecting some great things out of this one. I cannot wait to see this matchup. I think it's going to be fantastic. You guys know that they are squaring off in the Elimination Chamber at Hell's Gate, so this should be, uh, maybe this will be similar to that. I'm not sure. I guess we'll have, just have to find out and see at Hell's Gate how these two interact with each other. But Aleister Black is taking out AJ Styles, and I do think that Undertaker is going to get involved in their matchup at Elimination Chamber. So I have the OC getting taken out by the Undertaker right here in the setup. So uh, Undertaker's definitely going to get involved and cost AJ Styles that matchup. So I have the OC trying to help, but they're going to get double choke slammed. And then you have Black Mask from Aleister Black because he's distracted. And yeah, that's what you get out of these two. So Undertaker taking care of the OC, Aleister Black, Black Mask to AJ Styles in the face. And we're moving on with the setup. Just beyond that, guys, we do have Andrade. And Andrade has a United States Championship match at, at Elimination Chamber, but he's taking on Humberto Carrillo. And since he's taking on Humberto Carrillo, we all know that Carrillo loses every big-time matchup that he's in. So uh, he's chilling right here because there's no damn way that he's going to lose that championship. So I think we're just going to have another good game, and Carrillo's going to lose again, just like he's lost 100 times. Don't even know why this match is taking place, but Andrade seeing almost going to retain that U.S. title. Hopefully, I'd like to see see him in a big time matchup going into Wrestlemania so hopefully this man gets that paycheck and uh, he's a bigger name than Carrillo going into Mania so I think he should retain his championship. We got a little symbolism back here guys I don't know if you guys can see this but we have Matt Hardy who just recently left the company and I think he's AEW bound we've yet to see that maybe we'll see that tomorrow night on, on Dynamite or tonight on Dynamite maybe that'd be something epic but Matt Hardy is leaving out the exit doors we have him leaving here very unfortunate situation I love Matt Hardy he's definitely a gym and and hopefully he goes somewhere where he's happy, he gets some stuff done, and you know, he's worked really hard to stay in shape, so hopefully uh, he'll go somewhere where he's happy and you know, he can thrive and stuff like that. But there's Matt Hardy leaving, I wanted to include that, even though it's not really Elimination Chamber, I did want to write that into the storyline here. Moving over to the left, guys, we do have Brock Lesnar, the WWE Champion, going ahead and hitting Drew McIntyre with the F5, he's still got the championship strapped around his waist there, and he's laying out Drew McIntyre. I feel like Drew McIntyre has gotten the best of Brock Lesnar multiple times, so I wanted to switch things up. While I am going for McIntyre at Mania, I did want to have Brock Lesnar coming back a little bit since he's been destroyed by McIntyre quite a few times now. So Drew McIntyre getting loaded up with the F5 and he's such a massive man, like Jesus Christ. That matchup should be very fun to watch and I can't wait to see them collide at Mania. But for now, he is getting F5 in the backstage area, but he could be our new WWE Champion. God, I hope they put the title on Drew. And then finally for our backstage setup, guys, before we head off to the Elimination Chamber in the arena, we do have Sami Zayn, Cesaro, and Shinsuke Nakamura beating down on Braun Strowman for the IC Championship. We do have the old one right there. We don't have the new one quite yet, but we do have them beating down on Strowman. Strowman and these three are having a handicap match for the IC title at Elimination Chamber. Very unfortunate because I'm pretty sure that all three of these men are going to get defeated by Braun Strowman and it's kind of unfortunate because while Braun is a big dude and everything, uh, you have three great talents. Cesaro, Sami Zayn, and Shinsuke Nakamura. They work together as a team well because they're three talents that WWE refuses to use that are great great. So, uh, you know, they, they just sort of spin their wheels and do whatever, and they're in this this freaking feud with Braun Strowman, and they're probably going to get destroyed. So, very unfortunate situation, but uh, so, so to give them a little, you know, feather in the cap, I went ahead and let them get the upper hand here in the setup, because you guys know that WWE sure as hell ain't going to let that happen. So, I do have them beating down Strowman, putting him through the table, and kicking the shit out of him. But that is pretty much it for our backstage setup portion, guys. Now, we're going to go into the arena, where we have the Elimination Chamber, and we are are going to dive into that with the tag team SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship Elimination Chamber match going on. So let's go in there and finish up our setup. All right, guys, so coming back to the arena here, we do have the Elimination Chamber set up. It really sucks because I had to tear this whole thing down for Hell's Gate because I've already filmed both Elimination Chamber matchups, but I did have to set this thing back up for you guys to get the setup going because I wanted to include the Elimination Chamber. If you guys have seen, I have, you know, tweaked it so it looks like the walls are taller. I did, like, edit this or mod this at the top right here. 
and made it, you know, taller so that, you know, it makes it look better. And I may enclose it, or I did enclose it when I did the actual pick fed match, so it did work out. But let's go ahead and get into the rest of the setup, guys. Over here, you do see that we have Jimmy Uso on top of the chamber pot, and then we have J or no, my, yeah, I did say, did I say Jimmy? I don't effing know. So you got Jimmy here, you got Jay down here, and then you have Bobby Roode on the ground right here. And at the end of the setup, we are going to have him jump off and frog splash onto him. And then on this side of the chamber, we do have New Day. We have Big E and Kofi with Grand Metalik. And then up here, we have John Morrison doing a moonsault off the top of the pod. And we will do that at the end. So we're going to do both of those at the end. But before we get into that, I do want to show off Dolph Ziggler giving a huge super kick here to Lince Dorado here in the setup. I think it's kind of odd that Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode were added to this matchup. I know that the tag team divisions are kind of dead at the moment. So it, it, I don't know. It's just kind of odd. It's like he was in the feud with Otis and then they ended it and then it's just right there into the elimination chamber. Seems like something you'd like to prep for and kind of have a story for, but I guess they decided to F that. And then over here we do have The Miz just chilling. You know, the tag team partner of Morrison coming in. They are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. And we have the Tag Team Championships over here in the Timekeepers area. But that pretty much does it for the setup, guys. I did want to include the chamber and I do want to have Jimmy bail off onto Bobby Roode and I do want to have John Morrison hit the moonsault on these three guys and then we're going to get the hell out of here. Alright guys, so here comes Jimmy Uso off the top of the... Oh, that was terrible. Terrible. Let's let's redo it. He took out his own tag team partner over there. So Jimmy coming off the top and he missed again. That's terrible. Let's do it again. Nailed it right there. And then right here with the moonsault on Johnny Mundo slash Morrison slash Johnny Football. Oh, that was god awful. Got the dynamic angle cam right here. But that pretty much does it for the Elimination Chamber setup, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below your favorite portion of the setup. Let me know if you're excited for ex uh, let me know if you're excited for Elimination Chamber on Sunday. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.